Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and doing great. Today in this video, I'm going to introduce one more platform that you can easily use without investing anything in the expensive hardware and software related to PLCs. I'm talking about Open PLC project. It is an open source project that can be used to implement PLC functionality using your computer, internet, and multiple kinds of devices. Open PLC is in fact an open source programmable logic controller that is based on an easy to use software that I'll explain in this video. The Open PLC project was created in accordance with the IEC 61131-3 standard, which means that it will follow the standardized software architecture and programming languages used for PLCs. As far as the hardware of this Open PLC project is concerned, you can use your computer as its hardware or you can use some microcontroller that can be for example Arduino or you can use Raspberry Pi and many other low cost simply available devices. So let's talk about that how you can get around this thing and how you can utilize this amazingly simple platform. To get started you have to visit this website which is openplcproject.com. On the home page click on the getting started over here or you can click over here as well. So I'm going to click over here. Now there are three different things associated with this platform. Although I'm going to use only one of them but I'm going to briefly describe that, that what these three things are. The first thing is the editor which is shown in the middle over here. This editor is in fact a software through which you can program your PLC. That is you can create the programs which you want your PLC to run. And one very good aspect of this software that I should mention right over here is that you can use any of the five standard programming languages for PLCs in this program. So once you have used the editor to draw or to create any program for the PLC, now you need the hardware. For that, you need to install this open PLC runtime. What this runtime will do is it will connect the editor on which you have created the program with the online open PLC server and hence will execute the PLC program in the selected hardware. So for example, if you want to use your PC as a PLC, then your PC will be connected to the server. The editor will be connected to the server through the runtime and the server is going to execute the program which you have provided it through the editor and will use your PC as a PLC and will execute that program over there. And the last thing that is present over here is an HMI builder. So you can have a complete SCADA system built up using this HMI builder that will connect different levels of devices and different programs and you can have an overall view of the whole facility in which you have implemented this thing. In this video, I'm going to stick to the editor only and we are going to download it, install it and then see how we can use it to program a PLC using different programming languages. So to get your copy of the editor, you simply have to click over here. It will open up this new page. There is a link for Open PLC Editor version 1 for Windows. So you can click on it and it will take you to Google Drive over where this thing is present. From there, you can download it and simply by clicking the download button, it will start downloading this software. So once you have downloaded the software, it will be a zip file like this. You should extract it. So after the extraction is complete, you're going to get this folder over here. Double click on it to open it and once again go into this folder. And over here you will see a shortcut named Open PLC Editor. You just need to double click it to open this Open PLC Editor. Now this is the window of the editor and we are going to use this thing for programming our PLCs. To start, you have to create a new project over here by clicking on this new icon or you can go to file menu and click new over here. When you will create a new project, it will ask you to choose an empty folder. So you can create an empty folder. Let's suppose I'm going to name it as my first project and select this folder as the default folder for this project. Now it will ask you for certain things. You can name your project over here and you 
the POU type or the project type is going to be program. And the very important thing is that in which language you want to create this program. So if you drop down this thing, you can see that there are five options. The first one is for instruction list. The second one is for structured text. The third one is for letter diagram. Fourth is the function block diagram. And the last one is sequential flowcharts. So no matter which language you want to program your PLC in, it is present over here. So right now I'm going to select, for example, letter logic and click OK. So over here, this thing has been created. The project has been created. And you can see over here at this side that there are certain options through which you can create letter logic. In fact, in fact, that's it. It's that simple. You have installed the editor Now you can readily implement whatever programming you want to test your PLC on. One point over here that I should make is that I haven't installed the runtime over here. If you haven't installed the runtime, then it means that this editor cannot communicate with the online open PLC servers and hence it cannot control whatever PLC you want to use. So if you are doing some real projects, you should install runtime. Its installation is quite simple. And once you have installed it, you can connect your PLC hardware with the open PLC servers. And this editor will be connected to that server as well. And the program, whatever you have programmed over here, will be connected to your real hardware. Let me create another new project to show that if you are using some other language, then how it is going to proceed. So for letter logic, there are these symbols. You can use these symbols. And there are certain other options over here as well. These options are for function blocks. If you have watched my previous videos, I said in those videos that you can combine multiple languages into one program as well. So if you want to use any function block in your ladder logic program, you can simply drag and drop function blocks from over here. For example, if you want to use a counter, you can click on it and drag it over here and there will be a counter over here. Now you can use this counter in your ladder logic program and it will work quite fine. So if you want to create a program in some other language, then how you can proceed it. So I'm going to create a new project and now I'm going to make a new folder and this will be my uh, second project. And from here you can select the language. For example, now this time I want to select sequential flowcharts. So if I'll click over here and then OK. Now over here you can see that these elements are related to sequential flowcharts. You can see that there are two elements related to ladder logic as well because if you know sequential flowcharts, you might appreciate that these ladder logic programs or ladder logic elements can be used in a sequential flowchart program as well. So that's why these are appearing over here. But look closely that you cannot find any output coil related to ladder logic program because in sequential flowcharts, you cannot use that output coil over here. So uh, in short, this was everything for this video. And I hope you can now easily download the open PLC editor and you can select the language through which you want to program your PLC. Right now, I haven't installed the runtime. So this editor will not be able to connect to the online open PLC servers. But what you can do is you can create any program for the PLC and test it over here to see that whether the program is giving you the required functionality or not. So without connecting it to the physical hardware, the software can test the program which you have created. I'll show these things in the next videos in which I'll talk about that how to create a program using ladder logic in this uh, PLC editor. And for each programming language, I'll make a separate video. So how you can check your program which you have created over here uh, will be a topic of another video which will come right after this one. And over there, I'll use different programming languages to create program over here and then we are going to check that whether the created program is good or not. So that's it for this video. Thank you and take care.